All right, we're gonna start by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kohala Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Kohala Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Makak Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, that great millstone that taught me this doctrine of truth and sincerity. Shalom unto the elect, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. Ba Hashem in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, we know His name to be Yahweh Shai, which means He is the deliverer. To the Hebrew Israelites in the pedigree of your father, Ba'ashim in the name of the Rakak Wadash, which means the Holy Spirit, that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. The so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, are of the speckled bird looking like the other nations, and your spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Ba'ashim and Rashai. Then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We were discontinued from our heritage because we went all foreign after false gods and false idols, not foreign the lost nation commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent to captivity. But through our Lord Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, He's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the very elect. The ones that would be quickened with the understanding of the Holy Scriptures and would be able to understand that this world, this time, is headed to perilous times, okay? The belly of the beast, which is America, okay? America, which spearheads the charge of NATO being joined unto it, okay, which is the beast system, is bringing forth the New World Order, the Novus Ordo Socorium, okay, which is on the back of your dollar bill, okay, which is their New World Order, okay? And they're openly speaking about it. Uh, through their fourth industrial revolution, okay, on how they want to uh, put it on the people, but they're coming with nice, uh, peaceable words, okay. Meanwhile, what war was in the war is in their hearts, okay. And the Lord has given us the wisdom to be able to spiritually discern uh, this devil in the time in the time uh, the coming times through what uh, analyzing what prophecy, okay, looking is watching as well as praying, okay, that the Lord has given us what the correct message of salvation, okay, the unction. To know all things, okay, to be able to and what to look for. And one of them is when Esau Edom would come in like a flood, like a madman sparing none, and offering up what wicked devices. Okay. Let me um get a couple scriptures real quick. This is Psalms 140. Psalms 140 of one, okay. Uh, a Psalms of David. So the tabernacle of David or the household of faith, the elect, the remnant, okay, would be uh, speaking these same prayers to Yahweh Hashem Shai, And they would be calling upon the name of Yahweh Hashem Shai, right? Psalms 140 and 1. Deliver me, O Yahweh, from the evil man. Preserve me from that violent man. And who's that violent man in today? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. He has a perpetual hatred for what? For you Israelites, okay? And he doesn't um, uh, mind what uh, the blood so the blood is what going to pursue him meaning that these curses that are on us the Israelites okay are going to turn upon what Esau Edom ultimately his own sword is going to fall upon his own pate okay deliver me O Yahweh from the evil man preserve me from that violent man which imagine mischiefs in their heart continually they are gathered together for war okay and that's what they're doing in the um with the WEF okay where they're meeting over there in China Okay, and they're uh, speaking about on-off switches, you know, for uh, the brain implant. Okay, and also what about the, you know, uh, pay with your hand, you know, Amazon Palm. Okay, they are what are uh, formulating mischief and they are what plotting evil. Okay, all around the world, everywhere where there's commerce, there's going to be a rollout of the mark of the beast. That's why you have, um, you know, Esau, Edom, okay, fighting one against another. You have the, the Eastern Edomites. Okay, that are over there in Russia, and then you have the Western Edomites that control America. Okay, and they're fighting one against another over what the, uh, the resources, but they all have the same agenda of what the mark of the beast. Okay, they just think they got next. Okay, Psalms 140 and 2, which imagine mischiefs in their heart, continually they're to gather together for war. Yeah, war against who? You Hebrew Israelites. Gathered together, right? To what? Hide thy hidden ones. Okay, Psalms 83 goes into what the. Uh, um, the crafty council, okay, starting with Esau, Edom, and also these heathen nations that imagine mischiefs on you Israelites, okay? Strong's H, 7451, Ra, Ra, and second entry, Ra, Ra, and third entry, Ra, Ra, Ra. Okay, Ra, right? Bad, evil. 
wicked ethically? Yes, because what are they doing? They're uh, morally um, telling you, you know, to um, you know eat abominable foods. Um, you know, accept man on man, woman on woman, bestiality. Accept what Satanism. Okay, in general, person's thoughts, and this is what a, uh, a condition of hell. Okay, that's played out on earth when you have Esau, Edom in control. Distress, you have the distress among the nations. Also, there's going to be perplexity. Okay, when you look, read uh, Luke 21 and 25, it speaks about perplexity, which is when you go into the word, it goes into a wanting of all things. Okay, and it's going to be so bad out here that what Esau, Edom is going to offer something in vain. It's going to seem like it's it's an okay thing, but that gesture is going to be of what, um, of a, that deadly venom. Okay. Yeah, ethical injury wrong, okay, because that's what many people are also going to err in their ways, okay, error in the, they're going to fall uh, short of the glory of Yahweh Shema Hashem because they're going to chase after money, or or um, you know, uh, you know, different, like right, even right now the Lord's choosing the the two thirds illusions by thinking that money is more important, or thinking that you know um, having women teach is more important, or. You know, teaching false doctrine is more important because they have 501c3 contracts. But in that day, the wisdom of Yahab Hashem Shai is going to be the most important thing in the world, just like it is right now. Okay, but it just hasn't been seen amongst all the people. Okay, but, but the elect see it, right? To be wicked, to be evil, ethically, injury or hurt. Yeah, so it speaks about that also in Isaiah 10 and Isaiah 10, or Slaki, uh, Sarak 10. Okay, where riches got by the seat. Okay, and that's what they do because everything they push is what to, to be able to frustrate the people and have them in a, a trap, right? Of thinking of, of that they're okay, okay, when they're all what mischiefs. Continually, yeah, they continually gather together, okay? They're conspiring together in these different meetings because you don't have Jake at these Davos meetings or these Chinese meetings. Or, you know, so-called Chinese, you know, far as over there in China. Okay, you don't have Jake that are in these uh, meetings. Okay, we don't, we are the poor. Right? Yeah, stir up, the stir up trouble, strife, quarrel, gather together. And that's what you have in the world. Okay, where these different pestilence, the thing that happened in 2020. Okay, that, that brought a lot of fear to why the people are going to just trust in their government. Okay, because they're going to think that the government has all the answers. Okay, when they don't, they're going to offer some, they're going to offer in vain. Psalms 140 and 2, which imagine mischiefs in the heart continually they are gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent adders poison under the lips a lot. So how are they sharpening their tongue with um, their legislation? Okay, which ultimately is going to lead to them uh, being draconian. Okay, where they're going to, they're, um, you know, they're not even going to fall. They're even doing it right now where they're not even following their own law, uh, their own uh, Bill of Rights or their own amendments. Okay, they're actually coming draconian by saying, you know, you're going to do what we want. Otherwise, um, you know, this, you know, penalty of being in prison. Okay, being called extremist, being called radicalist because of your view, views, because what do they want to do? Take away your uh, First Amendment. Okay, your right to free speech. Okay, where that if you're speaking, you know, if you're just reading the Bible, okay, you're going to be considered what hate speech. So they're, they're sharpening their tongues like a serpent at his poison under their lips. Okay, keep me, O Yahweh, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who proposed to overthrow my goings, yet to overthrow um, our everyday life. Okay, just going to work and, and praying to the Lord. They want to frustrate that by what coming with um, unrighteous decrees. Okay, Isaiah 10 and 1, right? So we're praying for protection, um, you know, from this violent man, which is Esau Edom, where he's going to be coming like a madman, it's very none. Okay, five, the proud have hid a snare for me in the cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me a lot. Okay, and these uh, snare is what uh, traps. Okay, and they want to catch you in what the net. Okay, with these different, uh, you know, the universal basic income, you know, uh, Section 8, HUD. They, they trapped our people in this... Um, you know, in this, you know, living under these harsh conditions and they trap people with the different um, dainties that they offer. OK, but eventually those dainties are also going to be put away. OK, because Isaiah uh, three and one speaks about the dainties going away. OK, you know, again, these, uh, you know, food stamps and things like that. And that's all that's when hell all hell is going to break out. All hell is going to break out all loose. OK, Psalms 140 and five. 
or stock at Sons 140 and 5 and the NET. Proud men. Yeah, and who are those proud men? Esau Edom, the so called white man. He is a very proud man. Proud man, okay? Hide a snare from me. Evil men spread a net by the path. They set chats for me, Salah. So you also have our own people that are going to be down with this. Okay, when you read Psalms 2 and, uh, Psalms 2 and 1, it speaks about the heathen raging, but also our people. They imagine a vain thing too, which is that vain thing is with the new world order. Okay, so what are Esau Edom doing? They're offering up. Um, you know, taking away these certain events that happen, take away your privacy and offer you security. What is that security? This evil man watching over you. Okay. Just like we have the smart TVs or we have our phones, we're being tracked, you know, our credit cards and our debit cards, that's all being tracked and traced. And now they want to implement it inside your hand or your forehead. Okay. And that's the, that's the snare and the trap that's coming. Okay. The, the CSV Psalms 140 and five, the, the proud, the proud hide a trap with ropes for me. They spread a net along the path and set, set snares for me, Salah. Okay? So these snares and these traps are being set in the form of what of help. Okay? They want to help you. Okay? But this devil never wants to actually truly help you. Okay? Let's go to this. RSV. Arrogant men have hidden a trap for me. Yeah, arrogant. And the Lord's coming to judge what the arrogant. Okay, the proud. Isaiah 13, 11. And with cords they have spread a net by the wayside they have snits they have set snares for me salah. Okay. And these these snares are all over the place because it could be a woman, it could be the strong drink, it could be the philosophy, and it could also be the plagues that the Lord sent it. Okay. So that's a prayer, right? That we should be praying to Hal Bashamashaya to protect us from this evil man. Okay, because they are what trying to force the new world order. Watch, Carl Schwab says, humanity must be forced into collaboration with global elitists. Okay, and this also goes to Revelation 13 and 16. That word causes in the Greek, poeo. They're forming and fashion their society to have the people bow down. That's why the Lord has given us wisdom to be prudent. Okay, to be able to foresee the evil. Right, to see it before it even comes. Okay, to be able to understand prophecy. says yeah because proverbs 24 and 1 it says don't evil it says don't envy evil people or desire their company okay so you know people just want to be around uh, certain people okay they want to hang out with certain people when they're doing wickedness okay and even though they're doing wickedness because they see it as their that's their friend but they're going to end up getting caught up in all these these traps and snares. Okay? So don't envy these evil people just because they got some money or they got a stimulus or they got, you know, got a prestige, they got a bunch of uh, uh, likes or they got a bunch of subscribers, you know, it looks like they're making money. Don't envy evil people or desire their company for the hearts plot violence and their words always stir up trouble. And that's what they're doing in, the, in that meeting. They're stirring up trouble because they know that uh, forcing the people to 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 bow down to the new world order is going to cause what the order out of chaos that they want. Okay. The Hegelian dialectic pressure from below pressure from above problem, action, solution, because they want to come in with their, uh, their swords. Okay. They want to come in with their martial law, their super soldiers. Why is that? Because Esau Edom has been blessed with that sword. Okay. But that sword is not going to work on the very elect. That's why it's very important to what, hold on to, you know, hold, <laughs> hold on to your love, your first love, which is the truth. Okay, Proverbs 24 and 2, for their hearts, so their minds plot violence and their words always stir up trouble. A house is built built by wisdom and becomes strong, though good sense. Yeah, so good sense, and they don't have good sense because they want to put a mark inside your hand or your forehead to be able to control your buying and selling. Okay, they want to watch your every movement when you're with your wife. Okay, that's what climate change is about, is being able to tax, uh, to tax you for breathing. You know how many times you're with your wife, you're going to have to pay for that. OK, so showing you that this this house that Esau Edom is building is, is all for a vein. OK, when you go to. Because if it's not the kingdom, if you're not building on the house on that rock of what you have shy, then you're building a vein. Psalms 127 and one. Right. This is the uh, the song and degrees of Solomon. Right. And we know Solomon to be you have 
Okay, also, uh, Solomon means tranquility or peace. Okay, and that's what our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming to bring is peace. But first, what the destruction has to come first. Peace for what? The, for the elect, the ones that hear this message. Okay, the ones that are building upon that sound rock. Okay, on that rock, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai. Psalms 127 and 1. Except Yahweh build the house, they labor in vain. That build it, except Yahweh keep the city, the watchmen walk, but in vain. Yeah, so they're actually walking in vain. Okay, far as that these uh the far as the new world order, but they're also fulfilling prophecy. Okay, but there is a bounds iniquity cannot pass. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat bread of the sorrows, for so he giveth beloved sleep. Okay, yeah, so wake it, it let me read this at NLT. It it is useless for you to work so hard. Yeah, so these devils are up all night and day, okay, but it's all for vain glory. It is useless for you to work so hard for from early morning until late at night, anxiously working for food to eat, for our power gives rest to his loved ones. Okay? Yeah, to his loved ones. And Esau Edom is not the not the Lord's uh, loved ones. They are profaned outside the temple. Okay, the Lord speaks about the ones that he hates. Okay? And who who is that? Okay, it's the people that are in power right now. Okay, but though the Lord hate them, okay, they've been put in power for a period of time. Ultimately, to be able to show, um, you know, show the Lord's power when he brings them down. Okay. This is uh, Romans 9 and 13. As is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So Esau is the so-called white men of today. When you read Genesis 27 and 39, that would have the fatness of the earth and it would rule with the great sword. And he would be pushing perdition. Um, you know, he would be pushing destruction through what his... Um, his satanic, you know, rituals, okay, through him, enter, you would know him by his fruits of his labor, by the things that he does, okay, so Romans 9, I want to get a point in here, Romans 9 and 20, now, but, O man, are thou, are thou replies against thy power, should the thing formed it say to him that formed it, what hast thou made me thus, okay, let's read this in an OT, no, don't you say that you are mere human being to argue with our power. Should the thing that was created say to the one who created it, why have that made me like this? When a potter makes the jars out of clay, doesn't we have the right to use the same lump for of clay and make one jar for decoration, another to throw in the garbage into, right? And that's what the Lord has made. He's made one to honor, okay, which is what the very elect, the children of Israel, and one to dishonor, which is Esau, Edom. Okay, and when you go to uh, Genesis 36, it goes into the lineage of Esau, okay, which is what the forefather of what Edom, okay, and what Esau, Edom, Esau is Edom, and we're supposed to prophesy against Mount Seir, okay, which is where everywhere Esau, Edom pitches his tenant. Hath not our power, power over the clay, the same lump to make one vessel unto honor, that's the elect, the children of Israel, and another to dishonor, that's Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. What if our power willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction? And that's exactly what Esau Edom is. That's what Esau means as wasted away. Okay. Um, name predict, um, omen omen. Okay. Which means name prediction. Esau means wasted away is. And that's what they are. The vessel of wrath fitted for destruction. Okay. Read this in NLT 23. He does this, right? The Lord does this, right? Yahabah Shemashah does this. Right, he does this to make the riches of the glory shine even brighter, even brighter on those to whom he shows mercy who have prepared in advance for glory. Yeah, so who is that? The elect. Okay, the Lord has already predestined them from the foundation of the earth to be able to what be saved. Okay, and that Esau Edom would have his rulership for a short period of time, but in the end, what the righteousness of Yahweh Shai and the righteousness. That the Lord puts in the elect would, would shine uh, the brightest. Okay, let's read this again. He does this to make the riches of his glory shine even brighter, and those to whom he shows mercy, who he prepared in events for glory. Yeah, because when the elect are saved out of this, uh, just like in the time of ancient Egypt, uh, you know that uh, the children of Israel were the Lord's uh, portion, okay, that he said about the nations. So, in that, what these heathen. Okay, which are not the uh, not the Lord's as far as these are the uh, heathen nations. Okay, are what uh, causing commotion. Okay, against the children of Israel. Right. Psalms 2 and 1. Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine the main thing? So that word rage goes into commotion. Okay, they're causing, uh, um, you know, whole, um, you know, uh, 
markets to collapse, you know, the economy to collapse, businesses to collapse, the middle class being taken out, people becoming homeless. Okay. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? So our, those people are actually our own people that are involved in what the ways of this world. Okay, because they're going to be the first to lead Jake in the wrong way. Even two thirds of our people that know they know that they're Israelites, they're out there on the highways and the byways, but they're but they're teaching false doctrine. Okay, they're imagining that vain thing, which is what the new one order, because they want to be a part of this world. Okay, vain, which goes to what uh, to be waste. Okay, so why did the heathen rage? And that's uh, Psalms eighty three. Esau Edom, starting with Esau Edom, Amalek, the head tribe. Okay, then what? Um, then you have what uh, uh the Moabites, the Hagarenes, the Ishmaelites. Okay, why did the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh, saying, and his anointed saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. And that's what they're trying to do. Okay, with these um different devices that are coming out. Okay, but we in that we have to trust in Yahweh Shema Hashai. Psalms 37 and 7, rest in Yahweh, wait patiently for him, fret not thyself because of him who prosper in his way, because of a man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. And that's what Esau Edom is bringing to pass is what the ultimately the mark of the beast. But when that's rolled out, that would be considered when it's mandated, that would be the hour of temptation where the Lord's going to intervene for his elect. OK, so when these kings of the earth set themselves and take counsels together against his against Yahweh, against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord Yahweh Shai shall have him in derision. So how does the Lord laugh through what his prophets? Because when we see the vision, okay, uh, we know that our Lord Yahweh Shema Shai is first of all faithful and true. And that he said it already that it would happen. And when we see it come to fruition, we're, we're laughing at it because Esau Edom is in a trick bag. Okay. So when the kings of the earth meet together, right? World Economic Forum founder Carl Schwab told delegates at con conference, right, delegates, let's get what that is, <clears throat> or delegate. Delegate. Yeah, delegate, a person sent or authorized to represent others, in particular, or elected representatives sent to conference. So who does Carl Schwab represent? Okay, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburg Ships, the international bankers. That's who Carl Schwab represents. He's nothing but a cult of personality. That's set up by the elites to be the be the front runner. Okay? So to be able to delegate. Okay. Delegate, which goes into rep represent. Okay. Yeah, an assistant. You know, Apostle Gabar said, you know, the presidents are night managers. Okay. So some something similar to that. That's what Carl Schwab is. He might be a CEO, <laughs> a CEO night manager. Okay, of uh, of Walmart or something, right? So, you have the World Economic Forum, right? And it says so they're meeting with the kings of the earth, right? As Psalms two spoke about, right? And they spoke about how the Lord's going to have a derision, right? It says speaking at Web's annual meeting of the new champions, often dubbed the Summer Davos in China, Schwab stated in order to drive the fourth industrial revolution forward, elites must aggressively drive their agenda home. Okay, what's their agenda? Okay, the, the have everyone have a mark embedded inside their hand or their forehead. Okay, and what they're saying they are the new champions. Okay, right? That's what they said. They're the new champions. When our champion is you have a shot. Okay, I think this is Hebrews 12. Right? Hebrews 12 and 2. We in the NLT, we do this by keeping our eyes on Yahavashai, the champion. Yes, yeah, so Yahavashai is our champion. He's also our mediator, our intercessor, our big brother. And to be a part of what Yahavashai, okay, is to be a part of the championship team. That's the actual crown upon your head. Not following the ways of Esau, Edom, because that's all for vain glory, as I read in Psalms 127, right? Hebrews 12 and 2, we do this. Yeah, right here. Let me read this. This is Hebrews 12 and 1 in the NLT, right? Yaharashai, the example. So Yaharashai is our example, okay? Um, our power's discipline proves his love, okay? Yahweh's discipline, right, proves his love, yeah, through what? Sending his only begotten son to be the example, okay, on how we should conduct ourselves, okay? Was, was Yaharashai making rap songs, okay? Was Yaharashai prophesying with his hat on? Okay, um, did Yahweh Shai have long, long stringy hair? 
you know, wearing his hair like a woman. Okay, so these certain things are able to, uh, the Yahrashai have lineups, you know, these certain things, you're able to, this is the example of Yahrashai, and also what Yahrashai was perfect in the doctrine, okay, he didn't have no, um, you know, we don't want to speak about that, the Lord, the Lord, because yeah, Yahrashai is the word, okay, he is the word, right, he's in the volume of the book, Okay, so everything is a commandment because the word is actually is Yahweh Shai, but it's the word of Yahweh. Okay, that's going out that the Lord's using vessels. He used Yahweh Shai as a vessel, which is our King of King, Lord of Hosts, and He uses He's using us as vessels to be able to speak. Okay, the wisdom of Yahweh Shema Shai through what the Holy Spirit, right? So Hebrews twelve and one in the NOT. Therefore, since we surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith. Let us strip off every weight that slows us down. Okay, that goes into what examine yourself if you be in the faith or not. And what to be able to, uh, the Lord will be able to purge away those sins because you're actually repenting for them. Right, he's showing mercy on you. Let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially that sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race of our power has set before us. So endurance goes into patience. Okay, it goes into long suffering. Okay, because it's not a, um, it's not a sprint. Okay, it's actually a, a marathon, okay, that, that we're running to what he that endured to the end shall be saved, okay, to hold on to our cross to the end, and also what doing doing the will and being able to uh, be um, disciplined, okay, when, when a, a runner is running, okay, they have to be disciplined in what they eat, okay, what, they, what, they're, um, what they're around, you know, because if you're around certain people, they can get you in, that, that, in the ways of this world. Or if you're not eating, and what I mean by eating uh, spiritually, if you're not eating the right, the correct things, okay, how are you going to be able to endure? Because you're going to end up getting caught up in the ways of this world. Because again, you can't have no uh, dark in you, okay? Or you, you know, far as um, you know, you have to keep your eyes singular on Yahweh Shema Shai, okay? And where that dark is, you pray Yahweh Shema Shai to shine that light on it to be able to, so you can be able to be purged of your sins, okay? Two. We do this by keeping, so the elect would be what? We do this by keeping our eyes on Yahweh Shai, okay? So knowing that our, our Lord Yahweh Shai uh, gave us atonement for our sins. We know that we're going to sin, but we have to trust in the Lord. We do this by keeping our eyes on Yahweh Shai. So what is Yahweh Shai? Uh, the spirit of prophecy, okay? So we, have, we watch as well as pray because we know that our Lord is nearer than we believe. On Yahweh Shai, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Yeah, because without Yahweh Shai, we wouldn't have no faith. We wouldn't have the Holy Spirit. Okay, Revelation five and five speaks about um, that they didn't have the under they didn't they had the book, but they didn't have the understanding of the book. And through Yahweh Shai, he was able to open the seals of this book, so we can be able to begin the process of receiving this knowledge, wisdom, understanding in the latter days. Okay, and that's all through what the Heavenly Father Yahweh sent His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai. Okay, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross. So he endured his cross, okay, of what he had to do on here on earth, right? Perfect in the flesh. Disregarding its shame, now he is seated in the place of honor besides the Most High's throne, okay? And that's where the elect are going to be. The cha Those are going to be the champions, okay? Not Esau, Edom, and his uh, new world order, okay? That's going to be unsuccessful, okay? Romans 8 and 16, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And if the children then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with the Messiah, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of the present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay, revealed in us, right? This knowledge, wisdom, understanding of what the rewards, okay, and being what a true champion, okay? Because I saw that word uh, champion, but the true champions are the elect, okay? The ones that get saved out of this destruction. This is uh, Matthews 19, because uh, Peter inquired what shall be or inquired, you know, if we get, if we lose everything, what shall we receive, right? And this is what Yahrashai uh, spoke of. It says Matthews 19 and 26. I'm going to read this at NLT. Yahrashai looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but with our power, everything is possible. So it is, um, is possible with our Lord, um, Heavenly Father, Yahweh, if we have this uh, wisdom, right? Then Peter said to him, 
We're, we're giving up everything to follow you. And what will we get? Yahavashah replied, I assure you that when the world is made new. Yeah, so new going into refresh, right? The regeneration. It even says that in the King James Version, right? It says, um, is made new. And the Son of Man, Yahavashah, sits upon his glorious throne. Who have been my followers will, yeah, my followers will also sit on the 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And everyone has given up the houses and brothers. So has Esau given up any of these things? Has he given up his house? Has he? <laughs> and everyone has given up their houses or their brothers or their sisters or their mother or children or property for my sake? Yeah, has Esau, Edom given up any of their property? No, right? Or children, property for my sake? I will give, it says, I will receive a hundred times as much in return and will inherit the eternal life. Yeah, and so Yahweh Shai, okay, Yahweh Shema Shai is offering eternal life if you follow him. But many who are the greatest now, so Esau Edom is seen as the greatest. They're riding in on jets. They all got uh, suits on, bald face eagles. They're all engaged in all sorts of wickedness, okay? They're seen as the greatest, right? But while Meanwhile, the, the foolishness of this world is... is um, or the, the things of this world are foolishness unto Yahweh Hashem Hashem, right? So Matthew 19 and 30, but many who are the greatest now will be least important then, okay? And those who seem least important now will be the greatest then, okay? So in the end, what the elect are going to be, what the, the, you know, far as under Yahweh Shai and the tabernacle of David and the disciples, okay? Uh, we're going to be seen as great in that, in that, in that time, okay? Because we stood so swiftly. Right, because the Lord has come into what order all things. Let me read this one more time. Matthews 19 and 30. But many who are the greatest now will be least important then, and those who seem least important now will be the greatest then. Okay? So we're seen as bums, we're seen as um, you know, uh, extremists, grapists, all these different negative connotations. But in the end, we're gonna be rewarded for that if we endure it. The true champions, okay, under our Lord Yahweh Shem al Shai. Right? Um, there was another scripture. Yeah, Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and... Yep. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Yeah, shall wax cold goes into uh, the Greek word cycle. Okay, your mental stability. And a lot of people are going to grow cold. But in that day... Um, our hearts are going to be what pure. Okay, our hearts are going to be what open to what the comfort of Yahweh Shemal Shai. Okay, we're going to have comfort through Yahweh Shemal Shai. Well, the world is cold, but he that shall endure to the end shall be saved. Yeah, he that endure to the end shall be saved. Right, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the whole world for a witness unto the nations, and shall come, shall the end come. Okay, so we're at that point where the end is about to come, which means there's going to be great tribulation. Okay. This is Matthew 24 and 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. Yes, so great tribulation. And except those days be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. For the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So those days are being shortened for what? The chosen ones. Okay, the true champions under Yahweh Shem al Okay, not Esau Edom and his, his uh, WEF's annual meeting of the new champions. Okay. They're being uh, dethroned <laughs> by our Lord Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Okay, to drive future economic growth, we must embrace innovation, force the collaboration across sectors, regions, nations, cultures, create more peaceful, exclusive, sustainable, resilient future. Okay, and this is the devil telling you that. Okay, so what is he coming with? Nice, what smoothable words? We must force humanity into a collaboration. Okay. It says, um, risks and opportunities coexist. Breakthroughs from the fourth industrial revolution provide new opportunities to global. Yeah, limits to growth. Because I did a video about this article. It was on uh, News Punch, right? But there was a point that I wanted to get in here. Yeah, right here. This is uh, Schwab, the architect of so-called Great Reset, has recent years said that he he envisaged let's read this way envisage right conceived possibility or desirable future event 
okay a form mental picture right so he sees a uh, um, something happening okay beforehand to predict okay because what are they doing they are they are coming with their what their new one order so they already have things that are in place okay and what are they doing they're meeting up in these meetings to be able to speak about it yeah we're about to do this we're about to do that going into psalms 2 and 1 okay so he envisions humankind transitioning into a new age where there will be a fusion right so a fusion of physical okay fusion of physical right so what is meant by the fusion of digital biological physical worlds right emerging to create new reality in which artificial intelligence which is artificial not real okay it's every it's digital computers right the internet of things right and other emerging technologies are changing the way we live and work so the internet of bodies okay So again, these would be inside the people. Let me see if there's anything else. All right. Let me just go back. Let me uh, record this. Let's see. Let me copy this real quick. Bear with me. All right, so lock it. So this is going into their fourth industrial revolution, right? Physical, digital integration examples connection with physical objects system space with digital technologies integration allows for real-time interactions data collection right data collection right the grapho that's in revelation 13 and 16 where it speaks about that mark physically digital integration so what do you see augmented reality you have the guy with the apple vision which would be metaphon in the greek okay a classic example of Phi Genta is using chaos, whether at airport, bank, and so that was all gradualism. Chaos makes it possible for the users to accomplish routine tasks quickly, efficiently. Yeah, so uh, physically using digital technology, right? So why are they doing this? Because it's gradualism to the mark of the beast, because everyone's in a microwave society where they want everything right now. Okay, they don't want to wait for anything. Why is physical digital integration? Seamless merging of physical digital environments to enhance users' experiences, operational efficiency, innovation, right? So it even says in a new world, okay? That's going into what? The heathen raging, right? Let me get a couple of scriptures. So remember, these devils are not coming to help you, okay? That's why, you have, that's why the Lord has to be um, supping with you. This is Proverbs 22 and 3 in the NLT. A prudent, yeah, a prudent, a prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. The simpleton goes violently on it and suffers the consequences. True amenity and fear of the Lord leads to riches and honor and long life. Corrupt people walk a thorny, treacherous road. Whoever values life will avoid it. Okay, so we're supposed to be avoiding these, uh, these coming traps that are coming upon the earth. Okay, and what foreseeing what the evil, okay, and proclaiming what the, the things that are good, which is the ways of Yahweh Shemar Shot. Okay, so a prudent man foreseeth the evil, right? The things that uh, Esau Edom is bringing down, and also knowing that he's what a deceiver. Okay, Proverbs 26 and 25. I'll read this in the NLT. Smooth words may hide a wicked heart. Yeah, so Proverbs 26 and 23. Smooth words may hide a wicked heart. Yeah, smooth words. So it seems like they want to help, right? A wicked heart, just as a pretty glaze covers a clay pot. People may cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they are deceiving you. They pretend to be kind, but don't believe them. Their hearts are full of many evils. Yeah, so seven. 
Okay, seven abominations is in this uh, these devils' hearts. Okay, seven going into completion. While the hatred may be concealed by trickery, the wrongdoing will be exposed in public, and it's being exposed by the prophets and even uh, some people in the world, where brothers are watching videos and they're able to what uh, feel, you know see it and filter it through the scriptures to be able to give comfort, right to the Yahweh, to the elect. If you set it says, if you set a trap for others, you will get caught in it yourself. If you roll a boulder down on your others, it will crush you instead. And that's what they're doing. They're rolling these big stones down on the people, okay, with their, um, you know, uh, taking away people's livelihood, raising up the prices, you know, causing uh, uh, these different events in the cities, these different psyops. These are going to lead to a lot of people being in fear and trusting in this devil, okay? Proverbs 26 and 28, a lying tongue hates its victims and flattering words cause ruin. Yeah, so flattering words, okay? Because they'll, they'll act like they um, really care about you. Meanwhile, they're deceiving you because they're able to make money off, off uh, um, the different plagues that come upon the earth. But now they're what their judgment is coming. This is Job 9 and 23 in the NLT. When a plague sweeps, sake, when a plague sweeps through... He laughs at the death of the innocent. Yeah, so when these plagues sweep through, they laugh at it, okay? Because all these were gradualism, you know, just like you had in 2020, gradualism to get to this point, okay? To get to the physical or the digital biological dimensions in the new world, new world okay? Which is Revelation 13 and 16, right? And what does it say? Schwab is facing multiple accusations of what? Uh, uh, of uh, assault. Creating hostile work environment or females, so they're doing all sorts of wickedness in the background. While meanwhile, he's the one that he's accused of, uh, of some form of uh, sexual assault. Okay, and these are your, these are the leaders of the world, so-called leaders, right? When they're nothing but um, deceivers. The theme of uh, this annual meeting is next frontiers for growth, but actually, what we have seen in the presentations. There are now limits to growth, provided we use technologies of the fourth industrial revolution in a wise manner, in a, as the Prime Minister of Vietnam said, in a human-centered way, provided we take care of nature and see the green economy as a great opportunity for humankind and also for stimulating the economy, provided also we fully exploit the innovational and entrepreneurial capability of the people sitting here in the room by formulating. Yeah, you can't even really, let me see if I can get it on this one. So all those people that are in those meetings, right, Micah 2 and 1, they devise iniquity upon their bed when the morning is light. They practice it because it's in the power of their hands, okay? They've been given power to be able to um, meet up with one each, one another, Psalms 83, okay? At the same time, read this one. we are witnessing rapid technological advances with many opportunities and with artificial intelligence rapidly transforming our production, and our lives. And breakthroughs from the fourth industrial revolution provide new opportunities for global prosperity and growth. All those factors will have a profound impact on the future of humanity, provided we are able to work together. To drive future economic growth, we must embrace innovation and foster collaboration across sectors, regions, nations, and cultures to create a more peaceful, inclusive, sustainable, and resilient future. At this critical juncture. See, and the kings of the earth set themselves uh, right. Let me let me get that real quick. Because what you see is you don't see Jake in there. You see a bunch, you know. And again, some of these could be Jake, right? But as far as what do you see, and then what do you also see? The ties, okay. The suit and ties. That's the custom of, custom of America. So they're leading. They're following the ways of America. Okay. 
Let's read this again. This is Psalms 2 and 1. Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Okay, the heathen raging. Okay, they're imagining a vain thing. Right, the New World Order. Okay, so they're causing commotion in wherever their cities are. And these are the different kings that are meeting up uh, as far as the people that control stuff to be able to push the devices on the people. Two, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder, cast away their cords from us. He, sitteth, he that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh and the Lord Yahweh shall have him in derision. So these devils are going to be in derision. Okay, but those are the kings of the earth. Right? They're meeting up one with another so they can be able to push mischief on wherever territory they're in. Because everywhere where there's commerce, okay, um, there's gonna be um there's gonna be the implement the mandate of what the mark of the beast. Okay. Micah two and one. Woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. So they thought about this plan for years and years. And then they went to their think tanks or they went to their uh, uh, their laboratories, and then they were able to what put uh, eventually have it in the chamber so they can push it on the people because the Lord has given them power on what the left hand side. Okay, this is uh, Psalms. I'll get this one. This is Job 5 and 14. Job 5 and 12. He disappoints the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the four it is cut long. Yeah, so the ones that think they're wise in this world. Okay, they think they're smart, right? But you don't. if you don't have the wisdom of Yahab Hashem Shai, then you're going to be in that net. Okay, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness of the counsel of the four it is carried headlong. Yeah, so they're going to fall flat on their face. Okay, and they're what their enterprise is, what their new world order. Joel 5 and 12, again, he disappoint. So Yahab Hashem Shai is going to disappoint them. He disappoint the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Their enterprise, their new world order. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the four it is carried headlong. Yeah, they're going to fall flat on their face. Okay, and we're seeing signs of that by um, them uh, not able to have the people just go along with their plans as, as they once did before. Okay. Let's keep going. The active participation of all stakeholders is essential to ensure a sustainable development path. I'm delighted that close to 2,000 leaders from multiple sectors representing some 80 countries and regions have come to Dalian for this year's meeting. See? Again, the kings of the earth set themselves in a... You know, roundabout to what come against what you ultimately you Israelites, because they know if they have us in power, then they have everything they need because we are those um, we are the Lord's chosen people. OK, um, so in that the Lord has given us the wisdom to be able to know what uh, this is right here. And this is what the, the signs of what they know what order. OK, and the fusion of a physical or digital or biological dimensions in new world. Okay, so we went into the New World Order and how it's going to be uh, carried headlong, right? This is uh, Psalms. Let's see, Psalms. Psalms 33 and... Psalms 33 and 10. The Lord Yahweh, Bahashim and Rashad, bringeth the counsel of the heathen to not. He maketh the devices of people in none effect. So the Lord's going to what? Frustrate the plans of the nations and what? Their, their schemes and their plots. Then they're going to go to what? None effect, meaning that they're not going to touch the very elect. The counsel of Yahweh stand forever, the thoughts of his hearts of all generations. Blessed is the nation whose our power is Yahweh and the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance. Okay? Which are the which are what the, would be the elect of Israel, okay? Would be um, the actual apple of the Lord's eye right now, okay? Because two thirds of our people are degenerate plant; they haven't came back to the Lord. But the ones that are coming back to the Lord are what equipped with uh, this wisdom, okay? Psalms thirty three and sixteen in the NLT. 
right? The best equipped army cannot save a king. Yeah, so it doesn't matter how many satellites you got in the sky or how many, uh, you know, information warriors you got. It doesn't matter how many guns you got, right? The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your warhouse to give you the victory for all, all its strength. It cannot save you. So that's what Esau Edom is trusting in, his cardinal weapons that the Lord has given him. Okay, so don't count on the war horse to give you the victory. For all his strength, it cannot save you. But the Lord Yahweh watches over those who fear him and those who rely on his unfailing love. He And so when the Lord spoke about um, Revelation 13 and 16, okay, when the Lord said he would give us comfort, okay, let me get uh, two scriptures, Revelation 1 and 3. Revelation 1 and 3, blessed is he that readeth and that heareth the words of prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Yeah, the time is at hand when Esau Edom is going to come in like a flood. Revelation 12 and 12, blessed is he that readeth that actually understands the, the scriptures and understands prophecy. Okay, and also is speaking about prophecy because you have, you have men that they know prophecy, they know the scriptures, but they don't even go into it. Okay. So that we have to be on all cylinders, especially pertaining into prophecy, because that is the vision that the Lord uh, told us to spoke, speak about. Because not everybody is given that wisdom of prophecy. That's why it's so important, because it's it's ultimately the um, the second coming of our Lord. Revelation uh, 19 and 10. Okay, Revelation 22 and 10. And he said unto me, seal not the sayings of prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Yeah, the time is at hand when the Lord would actually bring the mark of the beast and would bring out the rollout of the new world order. Okay, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. So according to the deeds that you have done. And if you've done things against the Lord, okay, the Lord's going to give you that carnal um uh, um, plague okay but if you're doing things that are of the spirit of the lord the lord's going to uh, receive you with what uh beaming you up in the chariot okay that's why we're not supposed to seal not the sayings of this book so when we see the mark of the beast or we see their new world order we, we're not supposed to be afraid of esau edom's military or or what he can do far as our jobs and things like that we have to trust in the lord Right. Revelation 13 and 16. He calls it all both small, great, rich and poor and free and bond to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. So that word causes goes into the Greek, which means poeo, to form and fashion a society to what force the people inside to bow down to their system. How would they do that? Through what? Uh, through uh, a global famine, a manufactured famine, okay, the, the, the destroying of the water, okay, the cutting off of, of the different, you know, with the train derailments, the different bridges. Uh, collapsing and things like that that's actually egypt which is america today spiritually egypt is america today okay is what a uh, decay because the lord has laid a perverse spirit in the midst uh, midst of uh, of egypt for causing it to err to decay okay and everything that it everything that it so-called stood for okay it's moral principles there is none right um there uh because ultimately there there never was any but they but they but now they're openly uh committing wickedness okay they're not afraid of, of showing people their wickedness right so they're causing it, both small great rich and poor to receive a mark in their right hands or in their forehead so this word mark <coughs> goes into the uh, greek karagma right which is the actual device inside your hand or your forehead okay that are going to be in the people that what take it that's why you have amazon palm and you have uh, Amazon um, Amazon Palm, which would be in the hand, you know, the right hand, you know. And then also you have what the um, the brain, you know, the facial recognition goes into the brain implant, okay, or the metaphon. So the word karagma, right, in the Greek 5480, a stamp imprinted mark, so it's something physical, okay. And there's many anti-messiahs. There's many people that are going to follow the ways of this world. Okay, things carved, sculpture, graven work, things carved, showing you that it's physical. And, and, and if you take it, you would be an adulterous image. You would be in the image of Esau, Edom. And that would be what a badge of servitude, who you were serving, meaning that you're not going to receive salvation from Yahweh because you have sold out to what the devil. 
Karaks, okay, the Karaks is um, a pail or a stake, so the syringe that they would use to be able to put it inside the people, okay, and then when you go into the root word of this, this is the one I want to get, Grafo, in the Greek 1125, okay, to write with reference to, okay, so everything is basically now is written on what computer, okay, that would be what all your information, okay, that would be all your information of whether you can be able to buy and sell in their society. Okay, are you doing things? Are you saying things that are that are pleasing the government? If you're not saying things that are pleasing the government, then you're going to have a low social credit score, which means that you're not going to be able to buy certain things, even if you have uh, your so-called money in there. Because again, they're not they're, the money that you have is not your money anyway. Okay, so that grapple would be the intelligence that it would have when they're speaking about the digital fusion. Okay, and the um. And also what the uh, the metaphon, when you see him with the glasses, that's all gradualism to the forehead, okay? Met metapon, okay? And then what do you have right now? Metaverse. You have Apple Vision. All these are what, where they put the goggles on, that's called gradualism to what? The face, the metaphon, the, the, the brain implant, right? The face, right? Meta, Greek, 3326, okay? The face says right there, between the eyes or the forehead, Right? So that's what it is. It's something physical, right? That they would be what offering what in vain. They would be causing the society to seem like that's the only way. Okay, but the way is what the the way of salvation is the straight path, not the broad way. Revelation thirteen and seventeen, and that no man might buy or sell, so if he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So this word buy goes into the word agora, okay, to buy and sell, and also it speaks about trial, okay, being put on trial. I'll just get it. Because that's how they're forcing, they're going to force humanity, so-called force humanity, okay? Because they're not going to force you to take the mark, but it's going to seem like there's no way out. But the Lord's going to offer a way out uh, for what the elect, to not take it. First of all, by this wisdom that we're receiving right now. <laughs> Revelation to so that word, Agora. Yeah. So this word, by... Right, so go into the root word of it, the Greek 58. Strong's G59, Agarazzo. Agarazzo. Okay, Agarazzo. Right, so go to the root word, Greek 58, which this this word right here, the Greek 58, is the same word that's in, um, that's in Revelation 12 and 10, where it speaks about accuser. Okay, it goes back to this word right here, the Greek 58, ag Agara. Strong's G58, Agara. Okay, trials. Yeah, you're going to be put on trial for uh, whether you, you're able to buy something, okay, or whether you are enemy of the state, whether you're extremist or radicalist, right? Buying and selling, okay, all kinds of business. That's why all the stores are closing and they're making it where you only can go to them, okay? That's that. That's them causing, okay, forming and fashion of society, Pueo. And that no man might buy or sell if he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So that number of the the number of what the uh, the beast is what the 666, okay, which they're pushing in the World Economic Forum. Um, where is that? Yeah, right here. Okay. The World Economic Forum, the 666, okay, which is what the Chi Psi Sigma, right? The, the Chi or the, the Psi or Saki, Kai, Sai, Kai, Sai, Sigma in the Greek, okay? Because some say Chai, Sai, and then the Stigma, okay? But either way, it's 666, okay? That goes into what Esau, Edom, and who he, who he is, okay? So whenever you see that, know that that's them, right? So you see it in the background, right? So you have them throwing up the, the Rumbus also, Okay, yeah, so right in the background, what do you have? You have the same thing, the 666. So you would be known of who this devil would be. Seven abominations in his heart, okay, right? Embracing, right? And he also, right, this is what he said. He also, Schwab has previously declared that this new era of integration with digital technologies will mean that you do not even have to have elections anymore. He also fantasized about amenity embracing brain implants and leaders having the capability to read everyone's brainwaves. So what would that mean? 
okay? If you're thinking an evil thought, they would just what X you out, okay? Embracing brain implants. What are brain implants? Okay, these are their words, right? That's why um, through the power of Yahweh Shemar elders have taught us to what go into these articles, right, and filter them through the scriptures, right? So the brain implants. What do you have? What is that? What would that be? The metaphon, okay, on the face, right? But it would be inside, right? So going into the, the syringe, the carox, right? Brain implants, often referred to as neural implants. Don't we have um, what's his name? Um, Elon Musk, right? The FDA pass pass where they can do human brain trials what's that about okay what is a brain implant a system that combines external sensors ai control systems that evoke desired responses to stress triggers in person's environment so if you would take that that's going into what the break the cords asunder because if you take that then you would have no cord to yahaba shamel shot okay then again the world economic forum the, the chi Psi sigma okay so it's going back to this socket. So Revelation, right, 16, 18 is, is here on its way. Okay. Uh, World War Three is already a uh, brewing. Okay. But this prophecy, far as the rollout of the mark of the beast, has to be implemented first. Okay. Then the end shall come. Revelation 13, 18. Here is wisdom. Yes. Yeah, so the Lord has given us wisdom, Sophia. Okay. To be able to understand what this devil is going to do it before he does it. Let him that had understanding, yeah, let the one with understanding, yeah, so it be starting with the apostles and the prophets that had apostles like a millstone, okay, the, that hath understanding, count the number of the beast for the number of a man, and his number is 603 score 6. So what is that beast? That is the revival of the Roman Empire, which America spearheads the charge, and NATO is joined unto it, and they are the what the biblical Edomites, okay, they are the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction, right? Revelation in America is with the revival of the Roman Empire. Okay. Revelation 13, 18. Right. Strong's G 5516. Chi Xi Stigma. Chi Xi Stigma. Okay. So the high Psi. So the Psi you actually see in what um Twitter? Okay. You actually see this on Twitter with the X, right? Let me see if I can actually get it. And you see it with uh, Camilla Harris and uh, Pedro Joe when they're running. They have the red uh, three lines in it. Yeah, right here. So you have the three lines in it. Right. If you can be able to see that it says uppercase and then it has the three three lines in it. That's in the Greek, the 14 letter. Right. Representing the voiceless, the cluster. OK, so that's the ones that they're, they're going to be gathering up. OK, with their what they're anointing on what the left hand side. Right. Yeah, Elder Yashawamba uh, brought that out. So when you go to the Bible, when you go to uh, Biden Harris, right, symbol. You have it right there. See the three lines. And, and then it has the red, white, and the blue. Okay. Creating with the, uh, the different, you know, going back to ancient Rome, those colors. Right. So in that you have the same thing right there. So that's what to watch out for. Okay. They're showing you these different signs, but you have what the Lord has to be supping with you. So that's what their, um, the Kai Psi stigma is. They're, the Psi is what them anointing themselves on what the left hand side, saying that they are the ones that have spiritual powers, that they are the ones that have immortality. Again, going into them, what being the deceivers. Okay, or the them being what the, the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon of Satan, because Satan means adverse to what the Holy Scriptures, right? So when you go into the root word of this, right, the Chi Psi Sigma, right, the root word, he goes into stigma, okay? Strong G, 4742, stigma, stigma. Okay, a mark pricked or branded upon the body to ancient oriental usage slaves and soldiers bore the name of the stamp of their master or commander 
branded or pricked okay branded or pricked cut into bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to so if you take it you would be belonging to what esau eden okay while the the elect are not going to take it because we know what it is okay and then that's even through death being beheaded for the truth you know some of us going to be uh the smart guillotine okay um and also what some of us should be put into prison but even in that Okay, we're going to stand, the elect are going to stand firmly because we understand what the stigma is and the Kaisai Sigma and who, what this devil wants to do. Okay, he wants to put a brand on you, the Kaisai Sigma, to be able to have you have what a digital ID. Okay, the digital ID would be the UPC code, the universal product, product code, that where you, you know, you scan something and then you buy it. That's what they want you to be. Okay, where, as far as with the digital ID, also the, the QR, the quick response code. When they scan people, okay, that's what that digital ID is all about. Them bringing out what the uh, Revelation 13 and 16 down to 18, okay, the mark of the beast, which is something that's physical, okay. Revelation 13, 18, wisdom is needed here. Let the one with understanding solve the meaning of the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. And who is that man? Okay, it would be a nation of people, the biblical Edomites, but the Lord would give us wisdom, okay, that would be able to give us stability. Okay, to, to what to watch out for, right? Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation, and the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So the fear of the Lord is actually a treasure, okay? And he's going to save the ones that fear him, okay? Meaning that um, speaking pleasant words to the Lord, right? So going back to this, Psalms 33 and 9. Psalms 33 and 10, the Lord Yahweh bringeth the counsel of the heathen to not. He maketh the devices of the people to none effect. The counsel of Yahweh stand forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose power is Yahweh and the people whom had chosen for his own inheritance, which is the children of Israel. But of this time, it would be the elect of Israel, the household of faith. Right. Skipping down, Salakia. Psalms 33 and 18, behold, the eye of Yahweh is upon him that fear him, upon the hope and mercy. And to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul wait for Yahweh Shema Shai, who is our help and our shield for our heart. So our mind shall rejoice in him because we trust in him and his holy name. Let the mercy of Yahweh Shema Shai be upon us according as we hope in thee. So with that, call Yahweh Shema Shai, Shema Kapodash, Shalom to the Lekbam Yashalom.